Welcome to Real Life Stories with Pitu Melo Mankurane. I am your host, Pitu Melo Mankurane. For those who do not know me, today you have met me. So I just want to tell you that today's episode is something that everyone has been waiting for. It's something that people who are married have been waiting for. Something that people who are believing in marriage. I believe that we have questions, we have things that to, we, we want to understand and we don't know who to speak to. The guest that I have for you today is she's going to, to, to explain it. She's going to simplify everything. Before we start, please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and do not forget to follow me on all the platforms where you can find any podcast podcast i am there with you so i'm going to go straight and allow you to meet our guest today i have simply said hello the transformation and life coach how are you ma how are you i'm good my dear how are you doing i'm doing very well thank you so much for joining us i really appreciate and i believe as for me and the viewers and the listeners our lives will never be the same again yes and before we start i just want us to relax i have three energizing questions the <laughs> energizers they'll give us energy to connect with the viewers to, to for us to listen up let's let's hear them let's yes. hear them ah what is your favorite color my favorite color is black <laughs> color yeah yeah yes yeah. and what did you watch this morning this morning i didn't watch anything okay yeah I, I don't normally do any i don't watch anything mornings okay my mornings are for meditation okay planning my day that's what my mornings are for i don't watch anything in the morning what is it that you you watched last the last thing that you watched i watched a movie last night that's called baby boy on netflix i love watching movies especially something that's family oriented I'm going to I watch it. That. Please do. I'm Please going do. to watch it. Please do. Please. Please and do. if we were to travel now, where would you want us to go? Hmm. Local or international? International, yes. Okay, Dubai, right? Okay. Why? Shopping, all expensive quality stuff, perfumes, that's what I'm about. Then I will just go with you just to take pictures. Cool, girl. Let's go. Yes, let's go. So please tell us about yourself. Please introduce yourself and who is Simply Stello. What can you what can you tell us about? I, I am a very practical woman. Okay. I'm I'm about people. I'm about holistic transformation. I'm about a before and an after of a person. Mm-hmm. I'm about saying to people, no one is a write-off. You can always work on yourself. You can always, you know, bring a before and an after. Yes. Provided you are willing to do that. I'm a life coach, but sometimes I call myself holistic transformation coach. I'll tell you why. Because I've seen that everybody is now called a life coach. Yes. Right. But the mandate that I have is looking at the broader human elements yes the 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 relational you right your your financial you yeah the spiritual you Mm. the the personal growth in you the personal development in you i'm mandated Mm. to bring about that into a human human being right because I always realize we focus on one element. Yes. If it's about business, you excel in business, but your family life, your relational life is yes. crippled. Yes. So the awareness that I'm bringing mm. says to the people, I want to see you balanced in every aspect of your life. Yes. Maybe when I'm talking balance, it's one thing, but mm. I want to say, I want to see you whole. Yeah. in every area of Complete your life you roundabout. Where, when we look at you when it comes to family when mm. it comes to your marriage mm. there must be balance yes that's that's what i'm about so i journey with individuals into into that kind of a lifestyle yeah because we have a background mm. we have an upbringing mm. right we, we have a society, we have an environment mm. that has contributed to what we have become. Yes. And we need to unlearn certain things. Yes. 
and intentionally learn, relearn new things. Mm. So it's a journey, it's partnership, it's a decision mm. that one has to make. It's not an overnight thing because the old you is bound to crop up. Yeah. You know, it's bound to surface, sometimes in wrong places. Mm. So that's what I do with individuals. Let's journey together. I, I like it. I like it. And uh, you have spoken about a lot of things that you can assist us with. But today I want us to focus on one thing. I okay. believe by touching several things, it shows that we are still going to have you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Yes. Like now, I believe after here, we'll talk about relationships. We'll talk about finances. We'll talk about... So wherever you are, please stay tuned because I'm still bringing her. She's still coming. You see where our help is. Yes, so I, I'm here to stay. Hey? Oh my God! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I want us to talk about marriage today. We are in the month of love. Mm -hmm. There are people right now. They are inside <laughs> marriage right now in yeah. this Feb 2023, and they have questions. And I've got different questions from our viewers that wanted to. They asked that can you ask this? So I found it that. I believe you are the right person that can assist us to answer them because you know some of the things they want professionals they want people who are dealing with it yeah. because maybe they thought that i'm on this platform i might answer i just said you know what let me gather the questions and get the right people partnerships are important yes so what is your ideal marriage my ideal marriage let me put this disclaimer mm -hmm. there is no perfect marriage yes but it's two individuals yes that intentionally wants to bring and build life together. Mm. I want to believe that we are all half circles, mm. right? You you come together, you are full a full circle. Mm. But when you are saying we are building marriage, you are half circles that are intentionally coming together to build this one circle, mm. right? So my ideal marriage is people who are understanding that we are not angels that came from heaven. Yes. We did not fall down from heaven. Mm. We are two different beings with different backgrounds. Upbringing, I've spoken about that. And we have definitions of marriage. We define marriage differently. But we are now intentional about building a life together so my idea says let's bring it all to the table mm. our weaknesses our our strengths yes. you know and and be open about it and be vulnerable and be naked to one another mm. this this is who i am this is where i'm coming from these are my expectations mm. because many times you expect something from your partner that he does not even have yeah. and you need to my ideal marriage is not about wanting my husband you know yeah. to fill a gap yeah. of my father who was not there yes right yeah. so my ideal marriage is what we have defined together as these people Right, I'm, 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 I'm a child of God as well. Yeah. I'm a pastor, yes. and I strongly believe in these strong family foundations. Yes. According to the word of God, the Bible says the two will become one. Yes. And becoming is a process. Yes. You don't become overnight. You, you intentionally build together. You, you go through various phases and stages of marriage together. Mm. You know, it's not one-sided. My ideal marriage says it's two of us being able to sacrifice, to compromise, defining our values. Mm. Not what my father lived, yes. not what your mom lived, not what you saw in your family. Mm. We can make reference to them, but most of what our parents went through, to be honest, it's things that we cannot really look at. It's a few families mm. that lived healthy lifestyles. It's not about Google. 
Yes. I always say to young people today, I believe I'm no longer as young as as uh, I was then. Mm. It's it's people who think, you know, we're gonna look at Google, we're gonna live this thing. Mm. Like the spiritual aspect of it. Yes. That that we need to understand. The, so so my ideal marriage means let's bring it all together. Let's let's live no stone unturned. Mm. Because this is this is a huge step. Mm. It's a big lifelong decision. Mm. You are bringing people. You are coming in. You are joining a new family. You are taking his surname. Yes. Right. Mm. And you need to understand what you are inheriting. Mm. You are inheriting his everything. Yes. Right. I always look at little things that look simple where you you pick up your your child here you are you are now married and and your child has has picked up inherited asthma mm. from his grandmother or grandfather what else are they gonna inherit oh my god but, but that's how i want us to take it serious mm. and i don't want us to focus on issues of love only in february mm. We love each other every, every day. day. Yes. But do you want me to say to you, love alone is not enough? That's 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 the honest truth that we need to look at. Love alone is not enough. Because as you progress, as you grow as a couple, there's a time where you look at each other and see a sister and a brother. Eesh. It's not gonna be honeymoon phase every day. Mm. We're gonna talk about those phases as well in marriage. Mm. You need to understand to say, how are we gonna deal with this? You have weaknesses. Yes. But before you get married, you are all excited, mm. right? About this beautiful lady. This beautiful lady will change shape oh at God. some stage. Yes. Right? And, and this man can develop shugela. My God. <laughs> and, be not, be, and be not able to function in yes. the bedroom, yes. right? Yes. The way you were expecting him to be. Hmm. He can develop a, a, a chronic illness. Hmm. So the question is, can you still stand? Yeah. Yeah. I will still stand. <laughs> yes. yeah. And as you, you touched about the... the, 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 the the foundation uh -huh. um i just want to ask something mm. what is your take about you know when uh, when there's a people about to start a new journey a new union uh -huh. you find abu mama uh -huh. you know we want to to show you how to pre we want to prepare you uh -huh. so what is your take when they prepare only the bride and not prepare the groom what is your take about that my, 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 it's a huge concern for me. That is why I said, as we are growing up, mm. there are certain things we need to correct mm. as the body of Christ, because it happens in the churches as well. Mm. In, in church, I, I've seen that um, a girl child is prepared for the kitchen yes. and to have babies, mm. and it ends there. Mm. And on the other hand, poor, poor boy child is just being left irresponsibly so. Mm. And there is nothing much that is spoken to him. He has no role model. Mm. He has nobody that is speaking to him. Mm. So what comes to this boy child is the issue of that I'm marrying you. I recall one day I was talking to one young man. He came to our house and he ate. And afterwards he said to my husband, at least I will grow up and get married so that I get somebody to cook for me. And I was like, wow. Then you have a wrong perception about marriage. Yeah. Marriage is not about somebody cooking for you. Mm. We live in a different era. Mm. Women are wired differently. We are seeing them ri rising in the corporate space and even doing those jobs that are kind of uh, are called male-dominated, right? Yes. So for me, I feel that the preparation process should be on both hands, yes. uh, on both ends, and they are balanced as such. 
right this, this is my thinking mm. and and that's what i'm doing I've, I've, i'm a mother i'm a wife mm. I've, I've got three kids i've got two boys i've got a girl in my home and i always want to enlighten them as such i don't want to focus only on the girl child but i speak to my son as well whom i've taught to do a bed mm. to say do my son can just do a bed perfectly more than many women mm. that i know because that's how and i will say to him learn to do this i, I will teach him at some stage your wife will get sick mm. you know what i'm saying if she gets sick how are you gonna support yes. and i'm teaching them presence yeah as well mm. so there are certain things where marriage has been about only you know there, there is what we call five love languages right we're going to talk about them okay if we, we get a chance so so but you you discover that the, the the mindset that the boy child has is that as long as i pay the bills yes as long as i buy groceries yes what more does she want mm. so most of the cases that i handle is is those issues where the husband does not understand i don't understand what she this woman wants mm. i don't understand what she wants i've got groceries mm. i've paid all the bills i'm giving her money i bought her a car yes, I bought I, her I, house. i've bought her a car she she's got access to my banking it's not about that yeah. right it's it's bigger than that mm. the, the, the 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 women they need presence yes presence they need your financial presence mm. they need your physical presence mm. they need you to be involved right i love i love i love this they 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 need somebody who's emotionally present yes. right because if if you look at in many instances when you talk of emotional presence mm. right even it's your body language as well sometimes you are telling somebody you are excited mm. about your dream about this vision about your academic life mm. academic you want to advance yourself and this person is watching soccer My is God. watching news is watching your what this animal whatever planet i don't mm. know if we still have that mm. they, they are not present mm. so we need to be able even as counselors to be able to say to people learn to be present mm. right mm. being present learn to listen not only with your ears yeah. but let your heart mm -hmm. let your everything be with this person so people what people don't realize Tanasan, is that without such you lose each other mm. emotionally disconnect yeah. and you were loving one another you wondering what has gone wrong yes it's because you left each other's presence mm. you are present physically mm. maybe you are present with your finances mm. but the connection with us so i want to say in this month of love like you call it right mm. I, i want to be in love every day yes not only in fair right? yes please yes you must talk to your dad and tell him that i <laughs> want to be loved every day i don't want to be only so 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 for me it's it's about learning that learning how do you want to be loved yeah don't worry i'll yeah. send him the link <laughs> and he will get this link yeah. and get to watch it yes. but what you're saying it's important because i've observed mm -hmm. uh, people teaching young girls that mm. you qualify in the kitchen you qualify in the bedroom you do not qualify in the working field in the sectors where people take things serious you do not f function well when you're doing business and i love your advice so i just want to find out again um what is your take about premarital counseling it's a huge mm. All right mm. let me tell you i said to you you are two different people mm. right There's a difference between a feeling and a marriage. Mm. Many times when we want to marry one another, it's because you saw me, you loved what you saw mm. from a distance. Mm. And what you see here has got a story behind it. Yes. I don't know if you get me. I do. Right. I do. So, I uh, I uh, when your husband looks at you mm. 
he says in his mind i love this small bodied woman mm. light brown skin like me right mm. brown skin and 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 i i see maybe if you're a church girl i love that she preaches well mm. Yes, you can have all those good qualities. She's got a degree. She's mm. well educated. She's got a car. Mm. That's what we always get attracted to first. Mm. But who is this person behind this shell? There is behind the sea. Oh God! Right? Mm. There is there is you. Mm. There is this man mm. behind mm. the sins, mm. behind this shell. Mm. This person has a past. Mm. This person has an upbringing. This person has a behavior. Mm. She has an attitude. Mm. She has a way on how she responds to life. Mm. Sometimes she's been through a lot. Mm. And those things she has not dealt with them. Yeah. When are you want you saw this person on stage preaching, singing, worshiping. My God. And you want to build a life with this person. Mm. So premarital counseling brings you together. Mm -hmm. In our premarital counseling uh, sessions, we also do what we call a compatibility test. Mm -hmm. Right. And we also check how do you define marriage. I give you a test that says go sit that side. Guy, you sit the other side. Give me three things on how you define marriage. Yes. And why do you want to get married? Mm. You will be shocked. You will be shocked. He will be wanting children. Someone wants to get married because time is mm. under pressure. You want to get married for your own reasons mm. as well. But we want to bring this together so that you both have one definition. Mm. The two shall become mm. one. So at some stage, you need to speak in one voice. Mm. Somebody, depending on cultural backgrounds as well, we come from diverse cultures. Mm. Somebody, I, I, I watched one of the series where this guy wanted a second wife because the first wife, he married the first wife because he wanted her to look after the mother. Oh my God. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So those are the things that we need to look at mm. as well. You understand? Yes. Are you in par? Are you in the same page on why you want to get married? Somebody wants to get married because the mother told her that you will amount to nothing. Yeah. Therefore, I need to prove a point mm. to my mom's family or to my stepmother mm. or grandmother who raised me that I can get married. Mm. So maybe what we need to reflect on, this is a big topic. Yes. I want us to reflect on why did I get married or why do I want to get married? Yeah. Your, your, your premarital counseling then unpacks all those kind of things mm. and realigns you it is from premarital counseling that you can decide to either move forward yeah. or stop it yeah you are allowed because this is a lifelong decision mm. do you still want to go ahead that is why even in your bible mm. genesis Katabaya Rebecca, the Rebecca yes. story. 25. Yes. 24, 25. Mm. You hear the parents, the brothers called the Rebecca. They asked her, Do you want to continue to mm. proceed with this man? Yeah. Her mind was made up. Mm. So, premarital counseling will help your mind to be made up because many people. We commit into relationships mm. emotionally. Yes. And out of excitement, mm. out of feelings. Mm. Guess what? Feelings will die. Yes. And you meet this individual mm. that has got bad habits, who will leave socks lying all over. Mm. 
they, they are ladies, let me tell you, that are clean like this. But when you go to the house, mm. they are something else, mm. right? Mm. And, and the question is, you discover the guy, he's a, he's a clean person naturally. Mm. Then you are two different people. people. Yeah. How are you going to deal with these things? So in premarital counseling, you'll be able to define mm. your, your, your uh, we always even do your SWOT analysis. My Again, I yeah. do that with yeah. couples. Mm. Let's hear what are your weaknesses, what are mm. your strengths. Let's hear even your background, guys. Mm. The background of a person, mm. even educational background matters. Yeah, yeah. Because it's it's dangerous mm. to find you evolving, and your other part mm. has remained behind. Yeah. Believe you me, if I didn't know about SWOT analysis, I was going to know it. Since mm. I met you, I've been hearing it. Mm. Since I knew you, I've been hearing it. And I believe it works because you reflect on the weaknesses of your your, your, your partner or yourself mm. and everything that you do. And can you please tell us what role does communication play in a marriage? Communication is the engine yeah. of marriage. It's the heartbeat. <laughs> it's the bloodline. Mm. If there is no communication, remember, marriage is a relationship. Yes. So if there is no communication, then it means there is no life. Because you need to communicate mm. in all forms. And I want to say to you, not communicating is still communication. Yes. As you don't communicate, mm. you are communicating. Mm. Communication comes verbally mm. and non-verbally. Mm. Your way of doing things, mm. your response, mm. your behavior, mm. your attitude mm. is communication. Mm. So whether you have said something or not, mm. when you do not give your partner the right form of communication you are killing the relationship yeah. you are slowly killing yourself so a lack of communication becomes poison mm. to your marital journey mm. to your relationship yeah. so maybe the question would be what should we communicate yeah. we communicate our feelings mm. we communicate Things that have changed. Mm. We communicate finances. Mm. Big one, hey? Yeah. We communicate our sexuality. Yes. You don't just walk in, coming from wherever you're coming from. You want to tell your woman, you want to sleep with that person. Mm. Even you as a woman, because you watch the movie somewhere, mm. you just want this man to ride on you. Yeah. You communicate. Mm. We're talking marital issues here. Yes. Right. So you need to communicate. Communicate about your children. Yeah. Your family setup. Mm. How you want your relationship to mm. be. And guess what? We evolve mm. along the journey. Yes. Right. You get exposed by attending conferences, by watching a movie. You get exposed to new ways of doing life. Mm. So my question is, I have a problem with people that want to do same things, same year, and you expect different results. Mm. Should there be any changes in your life? Communicate who's going to communicate responsibilities and yeah. roles. Yes. Right. Mm. Communicate your expectations. Mm. You know, couples end up fighting on unmet and uncommunicated expectations no i thought you were gonna do this yeah. you just rock up your mom rocks up in the house mm -hmm. and you have not even discussed your relatives just decide to come all the way from limpopo Eish. she's coming to stay with us yeah. you've not communicated and how does this affect us how does this impact us and communicate how you're gonna even treat your 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 in-laws yeah. you know how what are the things that are changing mm. within uh some, some maybe a sense of responsibility mm. certain things can just drop in mm. 
un, unannounced. Mm. How do you handle them? Mm. How do you handle conflict? Mm. Are you just going to scream at each other Mm-mm. in front of everybody else, in front of your helper, mm. in front of your relatives? Are you going to ridicule one another? Right? If you are people in ministry, mm. it's important as well to talk about such things, right? Yeah. There are people, if, if you are a pastor and the other partner is not a pastor, communicate what you expect from them. Yeah. When, when you are not feeling good, communicate your feelings, mm. right? Mm. Because I, I've got a problem in, in, in so many things. I know traditionally, we were taught that uh, whether you are happy or not happy, your sex does not get angry, does not eat pap, yes. does not so. You must. We need to understand the emotional impact. When you have not communicated with me that you need sex today, you just rock up. Maybe I was not in a good mood today at work. Mm. How do you expect me to just all of a sudden switch to this sex mood? We've not spoken the whole morning. Mm. You sat at your workplace. I sat at my workplace. We're talking communication, right? Mm. You sat at your workplace. Maybe things were bad for me Mm. today or they were bad for you today. Mm. Right? You're walking in. You want us to have it. You want us to have sex. It's like it's all of a sudden. Yes, you understand. So I'm I'm not in a good space. Mm. But Nakona, it's a problem to be not in a good space every day. Yeah. You know. So 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 we need to intentionally talk to one another. Mm. Understand I should know how your day was. Yeah. Right. And and when I'm talking communication as well, I want to also think about affection Mm. because how you communicate the tone yeah your tone is very important Mm. right and and you need to be able to know Mm. that the person i'm dealing with Mm. when i raise my voice Mm. what does it do to my partner Mm. those are some of the things that you need to be careful about Mm. that is why then understanding each other's background is very important mm. understand because you know if i grow up in a surrounding or a family setup where i was being shouted every time mm. if my husband walks in they shout at me mm. they trigger yeah. a wound mm. in my life mm. and and it's also important sometimes when we meet as couples mm. You are meeting somebody who is not from the box. Mm. They've been in another relationship mm. before. Mm. So if you don't communicate these things, you don't even realize that you are triggering yeah. a wound that can never heal yeah. because you are connecting them to your past relationship. Yeah. No, I hear. Mm-hmm. I, you know, you're just reminding me of something. Mm-hmm. Uh, my younger brother is a graphic designer. Yeah. So this other time he sent me a text that, uh, please send me a picture, mm. your favorite picture, a family pic mm. that I can design, mm. engrave it for you. Mm. And I said, I sat down with my husband, I showed him that, uh, which pic can we choose? Then mm. he said, no, we don't need a pic. Ask him to design for us effective communication, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. engrave it so that we can put it in our room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So every time I'm looking at that, I'm reminded that everything that I am communicating, he should understand it. Mm-hmm. It, I, it should be clear mm-hmm. that I should not assume that, no, he understands, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, you just reminded me of something like that. So yeah, I, I believe, I strongly believe what you're saying and I'm connecting. Communication has to be two way. Mm. We, we can't, I always hear our male counterparts saying, yeah. I don't like talking. Who likes talking? <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't like talking. Mm. At some stage, you need to confront mm. the skeletons. Yeah. Have those difficult conversations. Mm. It can't always be honeymoon, but 
Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. It. it can't always be honeymoon. So at some stage, you need to face each other. But in communication again, the how part, maybe let me talk to the ladies as well. The how part, the mm. how part. Yes. Timing is very important. Mm. You don't just walk in, tell somebody about their mother. Mm. You understand? Mm. About how your family does this, how I don't like this. Mm. You, you, you need that wisdom mm. of knowing when, yeah. knowing how, yeah. knowing mm. what, right. the platform. How are you going to address this? Mm. Are you addressing it in an accusational manner mm. or in a solution manner? Yeah where you are not removing yourself out of the conversation or the solution mm. but you are saying i i love vendors right mm. the, the mannerism of approach mm. how people talk mm. you know and your zulus as well how they will talk i was thinking this you you know i, I wanted to so the how part mm. is very important in communication you don't want somebody to feel this disrespected mm. and ridiculed mm. by failing to approach the way you address issues. Yeah. And when tantrums, mm. emotions are high, mm. find a way mm. to say, you know what? Let me pack this one. Yeah. When the time is right, mm. we are going to engage mm. and discuss. I want us to understand the marital journey you will continue to discover each other yes when we meet one another we all are innocent mm. but as time progresses time tells time exposes you'll be surprised to oh, guy that guy that was uh, very nice in the pulpit now he's raising his voice on me mm. the real him is coming out Mm. allow the real person to come out yeah and where you need help get help mm. yeah i hear you know as we are talking about communication it, let's say there's two people mm -hmm. young couple they just got married mm -hmm. and i think the communication is doing well mm -hmm. everything is perfect mm. then after there's a third person the child mm -hmm. what advice can you give to young couples that recently have the third person the third person comes in different forms mm. not only the child sometimes it will be a mom-in-law mm. sometimes it will be a relative mm. sometimes it's a friend yeah. and sometimes it's pastors mm. i've realized again young people young couples they tend to value their pastors more than the, the prophet mm. prophet has mm. said this you mm. know Mm. And and you need to guard where is your attention? Mm. Where where are you focusing your attention? Mm. Whenever the third person, sometimes the third person is your job. Yeah. Where you, you value your career more than any other person. Mm. So I speak one word, being intentional. Yeah. I think you could hear me, I talk mm. about this. You need to be deliberate in whatever you do. Mm. Do to others what you would like them to do to you. Yes. If you are really serious about building a relationship, mm. whatever you do, you need to ask yourself, mm. decision you make, mm. if this was going to be done to me, mm. how was I going to feel about it? Yes. So you don't disregard. Mm. Bible says the two will become one. Yeah. So when you are one, mm. you, you need to think of the other person's feelings. Mm. You need to think, you, you can't just be careless. Mm. You can't just live anyhow. Yeah. You can't just disregard people. You need to ask yourself yes. that question that says, how will my other part? You can't be the reason mm. why your partner will wish themselves dead. Mm. You can't be the reason. I always say, I don't want to be the reason why my marriage will fail. Mm. I don't want to be the reason why things will not go right yes. in my marriage. 
oh, I hear you. Oh, well, well. So I, I always say it takes two mm. people to build a marriage. Mm. So when when it takes two people to build a marriage, if there is anything that I've said before God, is that I don't want to be the reason why my marriage will fail. Yes. Um, like you've touched on having the third part. Mm -hmm. So now, let's say there's young couples mm. that recently had a baby. Mm. How... What advice can you give them? The issue of children is, is something else, right? If we are not careful, sometimes either of the couples get too attached to the child yeah. such that they lose their partner. Yeah. So it's very important but in as much as this is your precious little angel, your little mm. baby, you do not leave your partner behind. Mm. Parent together, walk together, maybe even before that child comes. Talk, communicate. Yeah. We're talking communication again. On your parenting styles, what do you guys believe in? Mm. You understand that? Maybe somebody is a disciplinarian, the other person just wants to scream. Mm. You know, you, you deal with things differently. The other person is of a calm persona. Mm. You, you hang, you are two different people. Mm. So it's important to communicate again. Mm. How are we going to deal with this? You get excited. I spoke about parenting styles. Mm. Honestly speaking, they create a huge dent. I don't want to call it a, a, a gap, mm. a dent. You know when you are dented? Mm. When somebody ends up dented, I say one thing to this child. This child is growing up. And the Bible says, train them up mm. in the way they should go. Mm. So that when they, they are old, they know which paths to take. Yes. So sometimes a certain parents feel training a child or disciplining a child is something it's a sin we think spoiling them is loving them mm. then you begin to argue mm. because those things were not communicated before the child comes mm. you understand where the child is gonna go to school mm. one person believes a private school the other believes public mm. the other one is saying public because they are looking at the financial status of the family. Mm. You want to take the child to private school for fame mm. sake because your friends are taking them to private school. Mm. Question is, can we afford that? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Can we afford? You, you talk about those things. So that's when it, it causes friction. Mm. The issue of children causes friction. Then again, another thing, talking of children, there are certain couples that are withdrawn from their children. You love your spouse more than your children. Yeah. Right. So, the, 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 my God, there is what we call an emotional tank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, when you leave either your partner or your child behind each other's emotional tank must be filled yeah. right mm. when you don't do that when you don't attend when you are not present mm. in your child's life in your partner's life that emotional tank leaks out yeah yeah. Right. Mm. When it leaks out, you are surprised you are living with a broken child yeah. who has an iPhone and a laptop and a tablet. Yeah. And all the friends, the good friends, mm. Nikes. But this child is broken. And you you need to be constant, you need to be present mm. to one another. Yeah. To everything. Remember, I spoke about balance as yes. a couple. Yes. You are each other's accountability partner. Mm. You need to check where are we lacking behind. 
so the check-ins as a couple is very important and 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 i want to also caution us warn us against that we always want to go for counseling when things have gone wrong yeah you you need this premarital this post so as a young couple find a couple that you look up to or mm. someone who strongly believes in marriage mm. that you can be constantly be drawing from that world yeah and and you are open you are vulnerable you are able to they are your safe space mm. to say you know what we're realizing we've messed up here how can we fix it mm. before it goes worse yeah so the issue of children is very important when you are also bringing them let me tell you something i know some couples want to have kids like one year gap two years gaps and and things like that you talk to one another mm. support one another even during pregnancy mm because there are also stresses anxiety mm. depression mm. that goes with pregnancy mm. some people you you know leaky things good mm. people leaky things mm. matter i loved that um for all my children my husband has been present mm. when i even go for checkup he will drop everything mm. there is no checkup honestly that i went to without him being mm. there mm. right so communicate those things if they mean so much to you there are certain things that must be non-negotiable yeah. especially as a couple mm. you know somebody needs to be present mm. we we need to stop this thing that says i'm a vendor man i'm a zulu man mm. i can't see this one two three but communicate them if then that is the case mm. because somebody wants you to be present mm. so sometimes what makes a woman to be more attached to the child mm. it's because the husband was not there mm. when she was pregnant mm. and for that reason there was an emotional disconnect mm. between the two of you yeah. so when there is that disconnect perfect it's difficult to fill a gap of emotional disconnect mm. it takes grace yeah. to reconnect once again because this woman yeah becomes attached to their child you were not there so every you you need to be present on every milestone mm. of your child and be able to talk to it mm. as a parent mm. i know i i, I hear mm. and i'm just reminded of something mm. When me and my husband mm. started this journey, mm. they asked me how many kids do I want. Yes, I was shamed yes. because I didn't experience a thing. I yes. said five. <laughs> you still want five? He <laughs> kept on asking me that. Do you... After my first born, he asked. I said yes. Mm -hmm. The second born, he asked, "Do you mm -hmm. still want five? Because I want three. Yes. I said no. I don't. Think. Even now, I told yes. him that I don't think I want five. You see, and because you are growing up, right? Yes. You you realize the finances, mm. you, right? you realize the responsibilities yes. it's a whole lot of things so you are allowed again to 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 have a wish list yes but as you grow up you go back again yes. i love that he asked you go back again yeah. right he he, <laughs> he knew from the word go that he wants at least three three yes. so i said no love i five. want five. Oh my god yeah i kept on saying five. First when you asked that do you want still want five i said yes love i do and second point, do you still want five? Hey, like, I yeah, know, yeah, yeah. love, I'm yeah. fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm fine. And this takes us to the next question. Mm -hmm. What role does finance play in marriage? Money answers everything. Yeah. <laughs> finance is a currency. Yeah. Relationships are a currency. Yeah. I want us to understand something, Buffett. Mm. We need money, mm. and I don't want you to get into a relationship for the sake of money. Yeah. You can always build together, yes. build your way up as mm. a couple. Mm. But I want us to reach a point to understand that everything that you do, mm. the marriage that you want to do needs money. Yeah. We are from African cultures. You need to pay lobola at some stage. Mm. 
you need to be let's build ourselves mm. don't want to say much it's a sensitive topic yes but i want to say let's build ourselves yes. as couples yes. build your way up mm. my journey as a family i love to make reference of me because i know i can be authentic about it mm. right we we had nothing mm. we started from nothing mm. where you live in one room mm. where you live in the township mm. you grow up together mm. but we build ourselves up mm. so money if you don't communicate money mm. money can destroy you mm. some people marry for money mm. you you literally find girls young ladies mm looking for money not a relationship yeah to such a point i, I wonder says a couple to reach a point where you are financially independent mm. both of you what has brought us together should not be about money mm. such that even when money is not there mm. your relationship is able to stand mm. right mm. thrive together mm. build together mm talk communicate money issues mm. communicate your your salaries mm. communicate your sources of income mm. talk about it this is how we're going to spend money mm. roles and responsibilities you're going to be paying for this mm. if you have um black tax yes you know what i'm talking yes. about you are supporting your brother's child you have a oh god my god you have another child mm. it's possible mm. you have another child somewhere mm. we should not hear oh baby mama mm. somewhere now posting that you bought this child this you 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 it's it's another sensitive part you mm. understand that it's another form of intimacy for mm. me yeah. when money issues are not communicated well enough mm. they are bound to crack your marriage yeah, and as you're saying mm. that and you keep on saying that it's a sensitive matter mm. and i believe that if it is sensitive mm. matter it mm. should be treated as such absolutely and i know where there's money it, it, it provokes certain things mm. so i would like to encourage each and mm. everyone that is watching mm. each and everyone that is listening mm. that i understand that uh finance is a serious thing mm. finance is a sensitive matter mm. so it does not matter how big or how small it is in mm. your marriage get help seek help there are professional people like simply sikalo and i believe she will assist you as much as she doesn't want to open up about it now because she might provoke things that are not supposed to be provoked mm -hmm. so you can consult privately with her she will leave details with us then we'll take it from there okay. so now i want us to talk about something mm -hmm. we touched on finances mm. so now i know this one that it's a bit sensitive as well yeah. but i want us to go deep inside it what role does sex play in marriage and now we get um i know there's somebody that said something that i only do that when my husband starts because it is his job it is his role to do that what is your take about what role does it play i'm glad you call it sex i call it love making yes <laughs> yes because when it's sex for me mm -hmm. that's me i don't know about others yeah like, sex is a duty yeah but love making mm -hmm. comes naturally yes right yeah there is no timetable for it yes there is nothing that says but it's three weeks we have not had it yeah <laughs> yeah you hear what i'm saying mm. so so it 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 it's sex is beautiful mm -hmm. but love making comes flows mm. from somebody who is well communicated yet mm. somebody who is affectionately loved mm. and and intimacy it brings intimacy to these people mm. so intimacy is not sex yes are, are you getting I, my I point hear, right? i hear i hear 
So intimacy comes even on how we hold one another. Mm. I, I want to believe that you can bring satisfaction, mm. sexual satisfaction without penetrating to one another. I hear. You, you hear what I'm saying? Yes. It, it, it's, it's because you are sitting here, I'm walking in, we desiring each other mm. because there are no other things that are hindering me mm. to go through to you in whatever form. Yeah. You understand? Mm. So the reason why there is friction in our homes, it's because you spend the whole day, you are glued to your laptop, responding to your finance issues, mm. me, my memos, we don't talk to one another. Yeah. There is nothing that is driving me mm. to desire you. Mm. And, mm. And, and I want to say to those that are, are children of God like me, mm. this love making becomes a form of worship. Mm. Right? Mm. But when it's now a duty, mm that it must be done you'll even hear women talking about it mm. that i had to just you know <laughs> i had to i had to do it mm. i had to just do it mm. it should not just it's not nike man mm. it's not mm. yeah, yeah yeah do you understand what i'm saying yes it, you don't just do it mm. it's something that really it's a sacred moment mm. So when there are issues, my God, of infidelity, mm. and people think infidelity is only affairs, mm. there is a cyber infidelity. Mm. Hmm? Yeah. You understand what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Where you end up having an affair online with somebody, mm. you lose touch with your own spouse. Mm. There is financial infidelity. Mm. When finances are not communicated, the other person shuts off. Mm. Women are emotional beings. Mm. Men want to satisfy the sexual desire. Mm. And women want to deal with this while they are in the right mood. Mm. And our society, our cultures say, our thing doesn't eat nandos. Mm. They don't get angry. Yes. And they forget that I'm connected to my emotions. Mm and everything else yes so sex love making plays a great role into who we become but i want us to understand that as we grow up there are so many factors that can affect mm. your sexuality mm. one person can have a chronic illness mm. diabetic mm. whatever it is the other person for women, there is hormonal imbalances mm. at the end of the day that can affect a person. Mm. And sometimes it's emotional or mental issues that can affect one's sexuality. Mm. So it's always important to consult, communicate as well mm. how you you want this to be done. Mm. And, and, and you need to also, we come from different backgrounds, good people right mm. we we some people believe in wild mm. way of doing things yeah. somebody wants to do it in the garage somebody <laughs> wants to do it in the kitchen yes. you know all those kind of things and somebody like me maybe too reserved you will mm. be like hey this is communicate mm. explore new things yeah. as a couple and things like that there are certain things that uh, people speak about some that really uh, 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 you know you you be uncomfortable with them mm. tell your spouse I'm not comfortable with this right yes. and because of exposures we are exposed differently mm. so for that reason it, it should not because the reason why people end up in pornography mm. or end up somewhere mm. it's because people want to explore things that they don't the experience in the house and who girl in the house keeps on saying hey Nina, I don't wanna, Nina, you know those kind of mm. things communicate about them find that which you are comfortable with after all you are one i i i, I concur with what you're saying mm. 
because I once had, I just hope I'm, I'm, I'm mm. quoting him mm. correct. Mm. I once had my father in, in the Lord mm. saying something. He said, even if you, you are not staying together, mm. as you will be good driving home, prepare mm. your wife, prepare your husband. Absolutely. That I am coming home, mm. just talk about... Uh, Every, let everyone be ready. Mm -hmm. Let everything be communicated to. Mm. So that when you get home, you are not going to talk about you are broke. Uh -huh. Let's, as we get home. How, now, how does that, imagine, how does that motivate me? How does that drive me to sex, sexuality? Yeah. You know, every time you are walking in, I always say to couples, nah, I don't want to be called the mama that's fun, man. I don't want to be called that. Mm. I, it's, it's a, they know. Mm. Even my in-laws, I always say to them, my husband calls me babes, we call each other that. Mm. And I'll die being called babes. I don't mm. want to be called the mama that's fun, man. Yes. So those things are very important. Mm. Where you, you, you always see it and how you present yourself as mm. well. Mm. You, we, 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 you need to be able to make your men desire you. Yeah. ladies it's yeah. very important no matter your body shape work on your body shape mm. work on the clothes that you wear mm. guys you need to understand competition is too high, it's too high. out there it's i don't want to lie people out there we live with people that don't care mm. they can you know get your men anytime mm. you know while you think and they will look at you and even tell you right on your face that we 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 we, 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 we got him mm. and they will remind you of the type of underwear that you wear yes. they will remind you of the bra that you oh wear God. they will remind you of the type of clothes i always say to people we are we are graced differently in terms of our physique mm. learn to to even smell nice yeah. right you know have a good uh, order when people look at you when your husband walks in i always say to people i, I don't want my husband to come home and find my house smelling chicken yeah. <laughs> that's why we try to cook as early as we can be then your bedroom close your bedroom prepare yourself mm. for for that particular time it should there, there mustn't be a timetable that it must be done on such such a day and meaning and and all that yes maybe for spiritual reasons for some people those are some of the things to consider but i, I always say to people prepare yourself desire one another if you are a man you you can't remain in aluam cover <laughs> you know you know you know work on you if you are a lady work on yourself work on your body know your kind of body dress up for your body you know be that person don't sell out your own marriage honestly speaking sometimes men will walk away from us because of us you know a woman will walk away from you because of you mm. how you treat her that emotional abuse words that you speak you married her knowing on mm. a we understand that deal we understand deal deal with it yeah we understand yeah please tell us what advice can you give to somebody who's at the edge of a divorce i want us to understand one thing Divorce does not come from nowhere. Yeah. When somebody reaches a point where they are divorcing, I know that we've got drama kings and queens that are always divorcing every day, yeah. you know. But uh, there, there are instances where really one has been pushed out of the limits and they feel, I want to move out, I want to go out. Before you do, get help, right? Talk to, get professional help. Mm -hmm. Understand the root cause. Mm -hmm. Revisit your why. Yeah. Because sometimes I believe there are certain marriages that were left too soon. Yeah. Honestly speaking, things could have been worked out the foundation is important as well. Revisit your foundation as a couple. The challenge is that 
many times you discover that couples are not on the same page when it comes to marriage issues and 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 with that being said one wants to this thing to work the other one doesn't care because they never had good intentions from onset and i, I want to talk something i'm not against our male counterparts most of our male counterparts they don't want counseling always feel who's gonna counsel me they are human like me yeah right but the funny part is when you are sick you go even to a woman doctor yeah to attend to you so we need to understand that a marital relationship as well gets to a sick stage yeah. it gets to a chronic illness mm. gets to icu mm. so when you realize i'm now in icu mm. So the people that are easy to just walk away are people who had wrong intentions. Mm. But somebody that really wanted to build wants this thing to work. Mm. Right. So I always say get the right help. Mm. Sometimes omalume the uncles are not right help. Mm. Get somebody who is objective mm. who's going to sit down with you and 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 walk back. Mm the foundation of your marriage. Yeah. And I want to say to you I, I know this is a painful but this is the truth. You you also need to understand there are things you 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 got married yet you know very well you are not married. Yeah. Sometimes we force each other into something that's not working. Yeah. You you get pregnant in order to get this guy to marry you. Yeah you 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 had to you we we pinch ile we now you understand that you forced yourself mm. into it you squeezed yourself yes in. so you squeezed yourself into a a, a container mm. that cannot capacitate you mm. you understand mm. so reworking on that means work backwards mm. and decide you know if you are going to divorce right what will it cost you yeah divorce costs mm. not only money yeah but your dignity yeah your reputation mm. it will cost you friends emotionally it will cost you emotionally it will it will it will cripple your children mm. And, and I want you to also remember the issues of um, being married in community of pro- pro- property, mm. right? When when you are married in community of property, of course there are laws, there are issues around that can help you. You you need to understand that what you worked for, mm. you have to start afresh mm. because at some stage you need to 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 sell your property your children if there is a lifestyle mm. that you were used to you got to downgrade was this person the sole provider that you are divorcing when you are detaching from them what does it mean for you that is why i always say to people calculate all the costs mm. not even before divorce before you get married mm. don't just jump because he's got a six pack he's dark he's yeah. tall mm-hmm. and handsome. you know or tall dark and mm-hmm. tall those yeah. kind of stories on a serious note you you need to calculate the cost i, I know women sometimes you get so excited mm. you you don't want to hear i always say if there is a person that you cannot counsel in life is a woman in love yeah oh Lay my okay. god nobody nothing makes sense yeah. to a woman that is in love mm. even when we see mm. that mm, girl you are heading for disaster you are making wrong choices mm. you cannot tell a wo- you cannot talk sense to a woman that's in love mm. so divorce does not just happen mm. it's a whole lot of things Maybe if you are heading for that divorce, you have an exit strategy. Yeah. 
for it. Mm. You understand? Mm. What what is it gonna do? How does it affect your work? Mm. How does it affect your children? Mm. It's not always about you. Mm. It's not always about you. Mm. You understand? So those, those are some of the things. It's a lot. It's a topic on its own. I understand mm. that it's a topic on its own, and since we cannot finish mm. here, it shows that, like you said, that they need to get professionals. Mm. Let's say mm. there's somebody that has divorced already, mm. but there's, you regret that um, I divorced. Would you advise them to just go back, pack their bags, and go back and fix? Or do you think they need counseling? They need help? What advice can you give to them? But the question is who are you going back to? Is that person still available for you? <laughs> is that person ready to take you back? Yeah. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? It's, it's always good to be in a space of healing mm. before you make a decision. Mm. Be in a space of healing. Mm. Some divorces are valid. Mm. They are valid. Mm. You, you know it's not working. Mm. And sometimes, maybe because of your financial status, Mm. You want to go back, not because you love the person. Mm. Sometimes you want to go back because of your reputation. Mm. We, we are people of reputation. Mm. You want to go back uh, because, and, and remember I said they are married people that are divorced as well. Yeah. That's a painful truth. Mm. You have a ring, but you long left your marriage. Mm. You are married, but you live like a widow. Mm. You are married, you live like a single person. Mm. And somebody who is single mm. is enjoying your marriage. Okay. So before you decide, I want to go back, I want to do whatever, gather the pieces, gather yourself in all aspects to say, does going back, what are the pros and cons of going back mm. to that marriage? And is the person available for me? Are they ready to take me back? Mm. What makes me want to go back now? Mm. There are engagements that what need changed? to be done. What has changed? What's new? Do you want to go back? Because he begged me to go back. Has he, has she changed? And let's say, mm. you mentioned something that there are people who are married mm. yet divorced. Mm. Do you think something like that is fixable? Marriage is about two people. Yeah. Two people who are willing to fix yeah. and build together. Mm. So it's a challenge, especially when the other party, there are people that don't value marriage. Mm. There are people that don't take marriage serious. There are people who are careless mm. like that, who don't care. Mm. about who, who gets affected and all that. Mm. So when you are married to such a kind of a partner, know your partner. What are your partner's values? Mm. Where does he come from? Mm. You know, have you ever been in a family, being married to a family where they, everything is casual? Mm. You, there is no one you can talk to in that family mm. with, on anything that's solid. You mm. can have a concrete conversation mm. with that particular person. So there are people that don't value families. Mm. So so for that person, that person can wake up being lobola this week. After three months, she is separated. The next month is married to somebody and all that so that is why we'll go back to premarital counseling that is why even young people those who are aspiring to get married get such information mm. about your partner mm. because they will hurt you and it means nothing but you will remain broken yeah i hear you and um mm. If I may ask, do you do marriage counseling? I do, Stabasa. Um, it 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 is my heart. It's my heartbeat. It's it's uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what what I do. I'm a relationship coach. I do counseling as well. And for me, strong family foundations is part of 
my ministry yeah. it's part of what i i live for yeah it's 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 you you squeeze me you squeeze family issues yeah. that's that's what i love to do and when i see people blundering there are times where i look and i see oh, no, no. this person is making a mistake unfortunately as a counselor i can say to you walk away mm. from that dysfunctional family mm. i i hate dysfunction i detest dysfunction in any form that is why even in my own home i, I have check-ins we have check-ins I want to check in with my husband. I want to check in with my children. Mm. I want to have those difficult conversations. People around me, young couples, I always want to have check-ins. That's why sometimes you'll hear me dropping you a message and say, how are you? Yeah. And then you say you are fine. And I would say, how is good to me? Because there is a difference between how are you and how, I, how is how is still. Mm. I, I hear. Mm. And do you also do singles consultations? I, I do relationship yeah. coaching. Oh, yes. Right. What does that mean? I, I, I do relationship with self first. Yeah. Because that's where I believe everything starts. Mm. You relate with yourself before others. Mm. And as a person, I've got something here. We've got packages that speaks to couples coaching. Okay that speaks to before you do coaching yeah. these are singles mm. you you realize you are ripe and mm. ready yeah. to get married and all that but i always want us to do a certain checklist as mm. well of your readiness mm. you understand that because when you are not ready readiness does not mean having a job being 25 years of age like mm. we are taught readiness comes in different forms mm. are you ready can you hang mm. a mom-in-law can mm. you hang your sisters-in-law mm. can you hang your children that mm. are coming on board can you hang a dysfunctional family that you are going to be married into mm. how ready are you how mature are you if you read the bible i'll refer again i love to refer to to isaac and 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 Rebecca. Rebecca. Yes. the bible says when isaac was old Mm. The father, his father said, you understand that they go and look to his servant and look for a wife. Mm. So we, we've got many people that uh, it says when, when Isaac was of age, age, maturity for me is not only age, it's mm. a whole host of things. Mm. Are you ready? Can you be called in to family discussions? Mm. Do you understand your mandate when mm. you are coming into this marriage? What are you bringing on board? Are you only bringing your hips? Yeah. Your, 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 you know, the 3D makeup? Mm. And is, is that all? Are you bringing nails only? The pots. You understand that? Are you, are you only coming to cook? Mm. What is the greater why? What mm. is the greater purpose of getting into this family? So if we can reach a point as churches, as corporates, as families, as communities where we are empowering our children, I believe we can have a better society. But we are not taught. We are prepared for a wedding day. Mm -hmm. We are big in South Africa, in Africa, in, in preparing a traditional wedding. People go all out. They change clothes five times. Briefly, can you please share with us what do you do? I'm a holistic transformation coach, yes. right? And for others, it sounds complicated. Uh, I, I deal with life coaching. I do personal development plans. I help you with your career coaching. I also prepare people for interviews. Let's do your mock interviews. And above all else, we also help you with your profile. Yeah. Your, your resume, your CVs, we do CV writing services as well. And, and I do relationship coaching. I yeah. think we've spoken about that as mm -hmm. well. And, and life in general. Okay. Because my belief is that when you are not balanced, hence I call myself a holistic transformation coach, yes. you can come in concerned about your marriage. Mm. only to discover that mm, 
it's not about marriage. Yeah. You need to fix yourself first. Yes. So I journey with you. I yes. partner with individuals, yes. with organizations. Yes. I do speaking engagements as yeah. well in corporates, not only for women. Yeah. I'm not only for women. Okay. I, I look at the corporate, which is a diverse, mm. you know, you know, atmosphere in the marketplace. Yes. I go speak, I do speaking engagements in schools, in mm. churches, yes. events. You just give us your topic, give me your topic. And then we will craft and tailor make that which really speaks to you. Wow. So that's that's what I do in a nutshell. In some instances, I do program directing as mm -hmm. well, whether it's in birthdays, mm -hmm. small and big events. That's wow. that's what I do. And you know what? I cannot mm -hmm. close without asking you where can people find you? Because I know there's somebody that is listening to us mm -hmm. now. They I know immediately. They want to call you. They want to call to, to to find out where can they meet you. Where can they find you? Can you please share with us briefly where can people find you? Um, remember we are in a digitally kind of a world era, yes. right? Yes. I do some of my sessions online, be mm. it Teams or Zoom, whatever mm. platform mm. one is comfortable with. Mm. I've learned to got down to the level of my clients because yes. we are graced differently mm. i've had sessions on a whatsapp call wow. because my whatsapp is business as well mm. my numbers are zero eight three five four seven seven zero three nine zero eight three yes five four seven seven zero three nine that's my business whatsapp You'll see there is a catalog as well on my WhatsApp. You check in there, inbox us. We will be able to give you packages. We are able to tailor make our packages to suit every client. Okay. I don't want to leave anybody behind. You know, we should be able to reach the level of every client. Yes. Think of a high school child that wants to build their career mm. and somebody that is a startup uh, uh, business person. Mm. Um, I need to be able to reach out because for me, it's not just a service, yes. but it's that transformation that where I, I find my fulfillment. I've got my Facebook page as well, my business Facebook page which is called Three Strands Coaching mm -hmm. and People Development Hub. I am on Instagram as simplystrello underscore the coach. I'm also on YouTube mm -hmm. as simplystrello the coach. My website is www.threestrands number three mm -hmm. .co .za. You can also drop us an email at info at threestrands.co.za as well. And on YouTube, you'll find me as Simply Stello, the coach. Thank you so much. I really appreciate uh, this. It has been an eye-opener. I really appreciate I've learned a lot and I believe even where you are, you have learned a lot because one thing that I've learned from this is that communication is the key communicate effectively and balance be well balanced around about in everything that you do make sure that you do not forget yourself and guys one thing that i know is that more especially as the young ones we always rely on google let us make sure that we get professional help we, we get the right people i believe the contact that she has shared it will help somebody and wherever you are if you have a question please do not forget to leave it on our comment section and we'll be able to share to her with her so that she can be able to assist you thank you so much ma for being with us thank you so much really appreciate i really appreciate it. and i believe that after this marriages will be restored Thank you so much, family, for being with us. And I really appreciate wherever you are watching us from, wherever you are listening us from. And I believe that your life will never be the same again. Any question, do not hesitate to send us. Make sure that the comment is being filled by your presence. And wherever you are watching us from, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I love you so much and remain blessed. God bless you. See you again on the next episode.